that's going into same sex um, relations. relations. The Lord said that's an abomination. Read it. It is abomination. Read another one. Leviticus chapter 18, verse 18. Read. Neither shall thou take a wife to her sister to vex her, to uncover her nakedness beside the other in her lifetime. You hear that? Three sons. That's an abomination to her. You're not supposed to take a woman and lie down with her and another woman at the same time. That's disgusting. We don't see that as disgusting because we've been told that that's the thing to do. That's that right. that's okay. Rappers even call themselves after that name. Bring it out. Teaching our sisters it's okay if that's what you want to do, then do it. No, we have to change the standard. We've been lied to about what the standard actually is. The standard is God. If the Lord says it's an abomination, then it's disgusting. Right? 
keep reading and then go to Deuteronomy. That's it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Go to Deuteronomy. 28. 22. Got the woman. Got the woman. Deuteronomy. Chapter 22. And verse 5. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. The Lord said a woman should not wear that which pertains to a man. What belongs to a man that a woman shouldn't wear? You own. What belongs to a man? What item of clothing that women put on that only is strictly made for men? Huh? What about a longer version of boxers that you got on right now? Pants. Absolutely. I want you to understand that this Bible is spiritual. Everything that's in it is of the spirit Teacher. of our father. That's and if right. we operate in accordance to the spirit, we're going to put on the spirit that the Lord designed for us to operate in. And if we go contrary to that and we do opposite and do what we want to do, we're going to put on another spirit too. That's right. You know what that spirit puts on our sisters who put on pants? What do women usually say when they control a relationship with a man? I wear the in this relationship because they think they are over the man. Right. It's the spirit behind that. A lot of sisters, they get real tough. Teacher. That's not their role. Their role is to be soft, delicate, take care of the household, raise the young men up, yeah. raise the young sisters up. Then when the children get of age, they can deal with their father. Right out. But everything is out of order. Everything is out of whack. Stuff like this, it keeps everything out of order and everything out of whack. You understand that, brother? Keep reading. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth but to a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. You hear that? So what's that going into, my brother? A man putting on a woman's garment. What's a woman's garment? Yeah. And don't say these, because this ain't no dress. This is a warrior apparel. Right. right. This ain't no dress. This is how we dress as Israelites. This is our apparel. Right? So a dress is something that... You cover your whole waist on down, right, and it's flowing. If a one, if a man put on those items, think of Martin Lawrence in the nineties. Think of Medea. Think think of some male actors who put on dresses. What? How does their spirit change? How do they act? Are they when they put the dress on? Are they masculine? Why? That's not how they're supposed to behave. You understand that? Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth but to a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Uh -huh. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Uh huh. Everybody who does that, who cross dresses, dresses out of the order, guess what? The Lord said you're an abomination. And it's not only just folks who cross dress that are abominations. Do you know what an abomination is? You got some abominations. Yeah, I got eight. Right. What's an abomination? An abomination is something that's filthy. It's disgusting. Right? Read. Leviticus chapter 18, verse 30. Theref yep. Therefore shall ye keep my ordinance that ye commit not any one of these abominable customs which were committed before you, and that ye defile not yourselves therein. What are some of them abominations that that's uh, read up in Leviticus. It said, do not do these abominations. Well, right. Moses is telling the children of Israel, do not do these abominations. Let's explain what an abomination also pertains or consists of. Leviticus chapter 18, verse 22. Read. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. Oh, 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 oh. That's going into same sex um, relations. relations. The Lord said that's an abomination. Read. It is abomination. Read another one. Leviticus chapter 18, verse 18. Read. Neither shall thou take a wife to her sister to vex her, to uncover her nakedness beside the other in her lifetime. You hear that? Threesome. That's an abomination to right. You're not supposed to take a woman and lie down with her and another woman at the same time. That's disgusting. We don't see that as disgusting because we've been told that that's the thing to do. That's that right. that's okay. Rappers even call themselves after that name. Bring it out. Teaching our sisters it's okay if that's what you want to do, then do it. No, we have to change the standard. We've been lied to about what the standard actually is. The standard is God. If the Lord says it's an abomination, then it's disgusting. Read. Leviticus chapter 18, verse 29. 
For whosoever shall commit any of these abominations, listen, even the souls that commit them, listen, shall be cut off you from know, among their people. We've been cut off from among our people because we've committed all these abominations. Right. Yes, right. All these sins. The Lord is here now. Christ died so that y'all can get a chance to hear this word. At one point, it was only one way you could actually atone for your sins. And that was by going to our homeland and offering up a sacrifice. Right. The scripture said we'll never see our homeland again. So how are you going to atone and get right with God? Right. You here right now to learn what sin is so that you can change. That's why we out here. We understand everybody ain't going to hearken to it. They not. It's not in their spirit. So what? Chapter 15, verse 13. Read. The Lord hated my ball abomination. My brother, you hear that? Listen up. Read. The Lord hated all abomination. So right now, you are hateful to the Lord. But that's forgiveness for you. But I want you to understand that. He hates what you're doing. He hates the spirit that you're rolling in right now. Give me that in Isaiah. Uh, what's that, Zephaniah? About the judgment. I got Everybody dressed out of order. You. Zephaniah 1 and 8. Listen, listen, you think clothes is small. That's something very small and minor. You think the Lord cares about the way we dress? Yes, he does. That's right. That's why he outlined it in the Bible so that we wouldn't dress outside of our roles. Dressing outside of our roles has caused our households to flip. Big mama run the house now. It's a lot of disorder in our communities now. Simply because our sisters want to dress out of order. Right. You know. Read. Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 8. Read. And it shall come to pass. Uh -huh. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice. The day of the Lord's sacrifice is when he returns. Read. That I will punish the princes. Right. And the king's children. Right. And all such as are clothed with strange apparel. Strange apparel. You dress outside of the way that the Lord told you to dress. Right. Your face naked. You dress as a man like a woman. You dress as a woman like a man. Right. You got time now, sister, to change that. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.